Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Is this something my brother? It's politics. Her church is now doing politics. But unfortunately, he started his politics late. Let me tell you this. When we won election in 2021, I told the church and UPN, I said, look, many of you even heard when I even came out in public to tell you that a church is not listening and it will cost him. We had every opportunity to bury PF, to destroy PF completely. There wasn't even going to be anything like PF. Why did you think that uh, ECA would resign from politics? He was expecting politics from UPND. But what happened? I called the EPND leadership. I said, look, arrest, remove the immunity of ECL because you have the majority uh, people in parliament. Any bill that you take there now because it's hot will pass through. And anything you do to ECL, of any PF member now, the public will clap for you. Because actually the public was very angry with the PF because of the type of campaign we did. And uh, they said to me, no, see one, we don't want to go that route. We don't want to go the route of that. We just want to do PC4, uh, peaceful leadership and so on and so forth. <laughs> I laughed. Usually what destroys a good man, Isia was a very, very good man, same as e uh, HH, but what destroyed them is politics. Those that surround them, they're the ones that destroyed, destroyed uh, good leaders. All of them mean well. It's a meant well for the people of Zambia. HH mean well for the people of Zambia. But when you surround yourself with fools as advisors, they mess you up. And at the end of the day, they, they abandon you. That's what happened to ECL. And that's what is happening to HH right now. I told him, with your members in parliament, with the entire population of Zambia supporting you, remove the immunity of ECL. Take him to court and take him to jail. This is politics. When you take him to jail on uh, Independence Day, you pardon him. If you do this, you would have killed his political career completely. He would never think of coming back to politics. He would be an ex-convict. Ex People of Zambia was going to clap for you because by then, H a Lungu had no, had no empathy. No one was sympathizing with him. All the PF leadership were scampered. They were hiding. And with the day you are going to pardon him, the entire Zambia will celebrate. They will call you a good man. It adds to your CV in building your uh, 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 political career. People will call you a good man. No, 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 see, I want, we don't want to do that. We want to rule. In the, you start ruling a country doing politics like a church. <laughs> I laugh at them. <laughs> Boom! Few months than few years than the line. 
ECL has now people's support, people's sympathy. You may disagree with me, but that guy now, people want him back at all costs. And you cannot arrest him now. Anything you do to him now is, is, a, is a political war. You can't arrest him. You can't remove his immunity now. It's too late. He has massive support. The people are supporting him now. It's too late. The same thing I advised them in the beginning. Is you know what they are trying to do now? Trying to get at him. We are going to arrest him for the crime that he's committing now. Which crime is he committing now? Coming to say, I want to stand to be the president. Oh, is it the crime? It's not a crime. He has not committed any crime. And he will not commit any crime. And he will not be arrested. Anytime you try to arrest him, you are bringing war to Zambia. This was av avoidable. If they listen to my advice. But the president took over leadership and appointed young, young boys who knows absolutely nothing. Guys who know nothing about politics, they surrounded him, answering him, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes, I, yes. If you want to do well in politics, you need people that will tell you the truth. That advice I gave them, is it not what is happening now? Is it not the reason why they arrested JJ today? Now the president is saying, uh, we, are, we are reopening the case of JJ. <laughs> Why? Because JJ is now close to Ediga. If Ediga was convicted that time, was he going to come out today? If he gave me opportunity, the way we are working when we are in opposition, by now there wouldn't even be opposition. He will rule smoothly. But he didn't take advice. He, he started taking advice from fools. That I have a political advisor. Eh? Political advisor. Political advisor that the musicians went to meet the president. UPND musicians went to meet the president. When they arrive at the at the state house. Such meetings are not supposed to be held on camera. Those musicians want to tell the president how they feel, what they need. It's their right. They fought for the party. Remove camera out of it. In fact, such meeting is not even supposed to be held at state house. These are your boys. The boys that sang for you. Political advisor, they carried these children and paraded them on a, on a, on camera to make the matter worse. What these children plan to tell the president at state house, the political advisor to the president, Levin Goma, what took away what they plan to tell the president and gave them a written script. They went there and sang praises to the president. And the president gave, gave them either 400,000 or 300,000 to go and open a city. What rubbish! What nonsense! What type of politics is this? What bullshit is this? I mean, what, what the hell? What is this? So the president is, he doesn't know that he's busy sinking. He's going down every blessed day because he doesn't have people that does politics for him. Okay, the president will, remove, will restart the case of uh, JJ. <laughs> when he has many many cases that have been disposed of so the next president will come and charge him for treason again and let me tell you this you see that treason case that's why i told you that if a church don't take if he's not careful the end of his life will be so terrible because I mean, he has enjoyed his life. After presidency, he's supposed to rest, you know, be a state man and support the... But 
the way things are going whereby you want to cases that were disposed of you want to bring them back knowing that you have serious cases that once you leave office somebody comes and say hey come back treason treason is not available you can even die in jail all this politics that the president is doing now is what he's supposed to do when he took over power three years down the line this is when somebody is waking up to do politics you want to arrest ECL? you can't if you do it you are going to put zambia on fire don't think that you have the army with you you have the police with you no i'm talking to them every blessed day i know what they are saying themselves so don't deceive yourself this politics is what's supposed to be done before not now it's too late the only thing that can save hh today is to go back think about how we won the, how he won the election he won the election without the police he won the election without the army he should go back to those people and say how did you, how did this happen help me to talk to the people help me to share information El election winning is about information anyone that has the ability to convince the majority wins the election you don't win election with the police or with the army no <laughs> you see <laughs> you don't you don't you don't yeah. so it's too late if i advise the president i'll tell him to free judge leave it along allow them to campaign there are many ways to pin them down even if it's too late but the people that advise him don't know it and we are not sharing the format with him we want to see how far they will go all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.